Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to the Goaltender Be a Pro here with TJ. We are 5-0-1 to start the year. Not bad, if you ask me. And, you know, us individually, we are 3 0 0 with a 122 953. So it's been a pretty hot start here for TJ. And once again, pretty transparent to you guys. But for me, it's been a while since I've recorded one of these. So I actually do want to check the lines myself just to get a quick update. So, oh, that's right. We got Fiala. Okay. So we got Fiala, McDavid, and Pool Party, Yamamoto, Drysidle, Nuge, Hyman, McLeod, and Achari. And then a, you know, relatively decent fourth line there with Ratcliffe, Rasmussen, and Broberg on defense, Nurse and Bouchard, Barry Letty, Graves, and Jeffrey Petrie. And a net, 90 overall. Ooh, wee. TJ and Pavel as the backup at 82. So team's doing good. Team looks good. And I think this is going to be our last push with Edmonton. Probably if we don't win a cup this year or, you know, even get close because we've been first rounded every year, I think then it might be time to move on. I have high hopes. I know that's a song in one of the NHLs and it was like the only song that ever played, but still, that's that phrase has been kind of ruined for me now because every time I say it, I just hear the song. So our first contest will be against the Winnipeg Jets who are 1-3-1. They are not off to a start as good as the Oilers, that's for sure. But it's hockey. Anything could happen. They could delete us. So let's find out here if we can do all right here against the Winnipeg Jets here. I just had to say it again because, you know, it, it was either going to be, you know, too much accidentally or too much on purpose. So I overcommitted. And here we go. <laughs> the word makes a return. The Edmonton Oilers, Winnipeg Jets, first period. Ooh, okay. They get one from Heinen and Osterley and we get one from Leon, second period. Nice. Tied it up. Connor McDusty on the power play. Let's jump into the third period here and see how things go. All right, let's get off to a hot start here. Let's fly to start this period. Mantha is already in the zone, but the defense going to make a big play there. McDavid will come back for the puck and headman it to Bouchard. Yeah, pool party. Ooh, I thought he was going to rip it. Thought he was going to grip it and rip it, but he did not do that. All right. Mantha loses it trying to enter the zone. And McDavid will get it to pool party, who instantly loses it to Perfetti, who is now in over the line. Oh, my word. What was that? That, that was just a pass. And somehow it almost went in because I was not ready for it whatsoever. All right, I gotta, oh my, I gotta smarten up here. Get my head in the game. Kyle Connor goes for a down low pass. So <laughs> they've almost scored so far and they technically have zero shots, I think. I, I don't remember, do post shots count? Does that count as a shot? I feel like it should because it could go post and in, you know? So technically it should be a shot considering even if the puck was gonna miss the net drastically, but I make a glove save or something, that counts. So in my opinion, the post should count. Don't know if it does, but it should. The Jets are doing some interesting plays here, to say the least. Some interesting scoring attempts. And that's our first save, I think. Pretty sure. Or did I make another one? No, I'm pretty sure that was our first save of the game. Sorry, it's just really tripped me out because they've had a few real close calls and chances, but they just have not got shots off. So from the best of... My memory from the last five minutes, that was our first save. And we're giving it up again. Was that Buka Boom? Hold on. This has been a very slow start to the third period. Not the fast-paced action that myself, or I'm assuming you guys, the viewers, were hoping for. But I'm sure we'll get some action real soon. Severson passes to Piri in the slot. Oh, wow. That was a slow burner. <laughs> that shot was not good. But... TJ wasn't really sure how to handle it. Luckily, it did miss the net, though. Otherwise, definitely had potential. Here come the Jets again. Peary in. Over to Lowry, who rips another shot miserably wide of the net. That wasn't even close. All right, I got to stop hugging the post. That just... No, stop it. It doesn't help anybody. Get off of that post. I mean, does it still give you the green or whatever for positioning just for hugging the post? Because if so, maybe. Maybe it's worth it to get all the green lights there. But in terms of making saves, no. I don't think it really does a whole bunch for me. Fiala gets it to Pool Party who takes a shot and Mrazic will glove that and play it out. It's always good when the CPU goalies play it out. Makes me feel less brutal about doing it myself. Oh, it was an offside. Okay, I thought someone was taking a penalty. Gonna say, what for? But no, that is not the case. McDavid, six points so far in six games, I guess, because we were 5-0-1, right? So yeah, he's point a game right now. It's a little slow for McDavid, but I'm sure he'll pick it up here soon. 
Fiala goes behind the net. Oh yeah? Look at this guy. Oh my word. He waited till the last possible second. Nice pass up to McDavid, who ended up losing it. Now pool party chasing it. Drops the Jets defender, but still does not win the battle somehow. That's great. That's okay though. I love the physicality. Oh my word, Jesse. Or Yessie, whichever one it is. One of the two. We were, there was a while there where we were making a lot of massive hits. I don't know what happened to that, but it seems the physicality has really slowed down for whatever reason. Penalty for what? Show me the rule book, ref. I actually want to see the replay on this. I don't know how this could possibly be a penalty, but I also don't know if I was looking at the right thing. It's not going to show me a replay, is it? No, of course not. Well, anyway, uh, I will do it myself. Let's rewind the ting and find out what happened here. Where is Darnie? Is he not on the ice yet? Maybe? Did he just get on the ice soon? <laughs> so the Jets come out of the zone. Okay, so here's Nurse. He makes the hit. Oh, come on, ref! That is the weakest call of all time. He makes the initial hit there on, you know, a pretty dangerous pass. And then I guess he roughed him up a little bit afterwards. And we're calling that intrafence. What a joke. What an absolute peacemaker you are, referee. That's brutal. Whatever. Six minutes to go. We got to kill a penalty here. The lads can do it. We'll get it done. And that's a good way to start. Morrissey's there to pick it up at the red line, though. It doesn't matter. He's going to cough it up. McLeod, what an effort from that man. That would have been a sick shorthanded goal. All right, that's a very good start. Yeah, that's a momentum killer too. Excellent start to this PK for your Edmonton Oilers. Oh no, we coughed up the puck and now Dubois has a breakaway and he's gonna score. Amazing, I love that for us so much. What a beautiful thing. Oh, I should have flying poke checked. What was I thinking? I also was probably a little too far out of the net there. Maybe, I don't know. Cause I feel like I always get scored on on breakaways every time. It's a very, very rare occurrence that I make a save when it's a sort of one-on-one -on -one situation like that. So was I just out of the net too far or what? I don't know. But we have a hill to climb here now. Five minutes ago, we are officially... Don't you dare handle that out of this... Oh my goodness, dude. Come on. That is brutal. Well, there goes my team play down the drain. In a matter of, I want to say like seconds. It hasn't been a minute yet since they scored. Or at least when I handled the puck. Everything just went right down the drain. So that's awesome. I also once again forgot to look at how many shots were had. So I have no idea if my save percentage is any good right now or not. But we will be finding out in the quite near future. Hopefully we can send this to OT though. Come on, Bouchard! Aw, oh, dude. We almost had the rebound there with McDavid as well. But Pionk was there to prevent that from happening. Mantha is in the neutral zone. Goes for a deke. Oh, okay. Send that over to- Oh my word! That is not where I aim that pass whatsoever. And I am extremely grateful that their player missed that. Could have been not good. Wow. All right. Well, nothing like a, a little adrenaline spike there <laughs> to get the boys going. And we are in over the zone. I want to get off the ice so that this incoming goal is not my fault. All right. I'm off the ice. Can't blame me anymore. Booka Boom sends it in. All right. What a good hockey play. Nurse gonna get rocked. Never mind. He didn't really get hit too hard. Looks like it was setting up to be a lot worse than it ended up actually being. Yeah? Okay. Could have done some better things there with that, but that's all right. The boys are buzzing. Can we actually tie this up here with an empty net? Wouldn't count it out. Ah, uh, no. 23 seconds and we're backing up. Just giving him the entire <laughs> zone, entire net. And for what? What are we doing? Like, what are we doing, guys? That was... The most pathetic display of an empty net situation I've ever seen. They really do have to improve their AI in that sense where it's, you know, the net's empty, step up or do something, play with more urgency kind of thing. That was something special. But anyway, yeah, they only had 27 shots. Not a good performance from TJ. Ah, you hate to see it. Not a good way to start. But you know what? If our second game's good, then I'd rather have the second game be good and we go out on a good note than come in on a good note and leave on a bad one. So that's all right. Yeah, I don't want to hear about it, but I guess we shall. They did. Good for them. Yeah, my stats are just poo. on the road against the Coyotes. Anaheim oh, not a good game. Affair, and the Carolina? Go with it. Stanley Cup. 06 rematch? <laughs> I keep forgetting. Uh, James just zipped it. Oh. Sure. 
Let's take a look. Our save percentage and goals against average are still nuts, so we got that going for us. The Red Wings were on the road to take on the Wild. Yeah, let's jump into this one. See if we can make a little comeback here against the Canes. Speaking of the Hurricanes. All right, James, I've had enough of you. We're starting the game here, boy. Yeah, look at those X-Factors on the right-hand side there. Lovely. Taves sent off for roughing. Wait, what? Hello? Did I miss something? I clearly missed something. Let's find out what happened here again. So, yeah, here's Pool Party. He goes in. Makes a big hit, and then, oh, they just didn't end up fighting. That's, okay, lovely. But, love that energy from you, though, Pool Party. What a massive hit. It looks like he actually injured Svetch there right off the bat, which, you know, you don't want to see that, but it is a virtual game, so it's okay. <laughs> In real life, obviously, would not get the same reaction, but, as I said, it is an AI, so <laughs> let's go, Pool Party. Do it again! The Hurricanes got Johnny Quick back there in the cage. At least I think it's Jonathan Quick. Might have been a draft pick in year one or something. That is just already insane. But yeah, I believe it's Jonathan Quick. So that is intriguing. There's also another player I think I saw that kind of threw me off. Oh, in the mitten you go. Pass that out to Nurse. We are hopefully going to play a little bit better than last game. I didn't play awful last game, but I just didn't really get... Too many shots, honestly. So that kind of sucked. But regard Oh yeah, pasta. They have pasta. I don't know how they managed that, but they managed it. So far, this game is already going a lot better overall. Getting more shots and making some saves. Get out of here, Sagan. Nice try, Bucko. But I will be keeping that one out of this cage. Dry sidle. Oh, he just missed the net. Nice try. Marty gonna cough it up. Nice passing and a good shot, but Quick will be there. He was pretty quick, I'm not gonna lie. He did live up to his name. It wasn't clickbait. Another situation going on in front of the net there with Taves again? Whoa, whoa, hold on. What just happened? That was not <laughs> fun to look at. Holy crap. Was it Pool Party again? No, it was Fiala this time. Man, they, <laughs> they did some of these guys real dirty with their player models. All right, instant replay. What happened this time? Let's see. So a shot goes on net. Yep, it sure did. Oh man, did he bowl someone over? Is this? I think this is Fiala. Boom! Yeah, he did! He just ran over Natchez. Is he hurt too? Oh my word, dude. What is going- This is the Oilers team you love to see. This is the one I was talking about. And now they're out playing here. Where were we last game, boys? This is a thing of beauty. Could bring a tear to my eye. Jeez, the way we're playing this game, the Broad Street Bullies Got nothing on us. We're the new bullies over here, apparently. That is quite the way to start off a third period. Two massive hits. And Natchez will take a shot. Steer that aside. LeBanc will get there first. And now there's a battle behind the Oilers' net. LeBanc again trying to walk out, but Bouchard said, Nope. Not today. Yeah? In the middle to McDavid? Come on, boys. I don't think I've seen the lad score today yet. No, I have not. All right, well, let's... Let's get our heads together here and score a goal. How does that sound? Big draw win from Nuge. I like the point passing. Nice. Barry and you shot right into the crowd that was standing there the whole time, might I add. This wasn't a last second heroic dive in front. They were just there and you still pelted them. So <laughs> not sure what, what's going on there. Maybe you and whatever teammate you hit. I wasn't really paying attention. I was too busy being blown away by the fact that he did hit them. But yeah, maybe there's some gripe going on there. I am not sure. But regardless, hopefully that's out of the way now. And we can play some hockey and score a goal and tie this game up. Yeah, that sounds like a solid plan. No, sounds good to me. Come on, man. Oh, dude, that sucks so much. I made the first save and yeah, he just got the rebound, bested me. And I couldn't do a whole lot there, unfortunately. I mean, it was just a good goal. He stayed on top of it. Well, lads, we now need two goals. So that hill just got a little bit steeper. And Yanmark, what an individual. Wow. Okay, hold on. We interrupt that statement to bring you breaking news. That is the worst shot I've seen in my life. And it's not even close, I don't think. I've seen some bad shots in my day, and I have called them out as well. But holy, that was something special. We may never see that again. Come on, Fiala. Nice try. But Jarvis. Jarvis will be there to 
take that away. Pool party's in. Goes for another pass. Man, our passes are just not getting through. They are blocking it all. They have clearly watched tape and studied the Edmonton Oilers because they are well aware of what we're trying to do out here. And they are shutting it down perfectly. That's a nice change up, I guess. Pool party. Keep it in. No, it's going to be offside. That's lame. Here we go, Bouchard. Oh, wow, they just... Okay. <laughs> they gave you a clear path for A, a shot, or B, to walk in. And um, you took the shot. Was it great, though? No, not really. I wouldn't even say it was good. I guess he tried to go five hole. Could have been a cheeky goal, but didn't look like he really wanted to score there, if I'm being honest. So Carolina has Sagan, and they have Pasta. What an interesting turn of events. Looks like we're starting to see some big movements. Finally, in year... What is this now? Four? Three? I don't even know what season we're in. It's one of those two, three or four. And we are definitely seeing some larger maneuvers across the league. I guess it could be, you know, free agents, stuff like that as well. Might not just be trades. Wow. Jonathan Quick playing incredible. Oh, yeah? Nice try, Yanmark. I see you. Their passes into the slot working out just fine. Wow. Okay, this is an L. We took an L here again. <laughs> not a great episode today, that's for sure. But we have a penalty now to kill. Hopefully I'll get some more shots here at least. But we are also probably going to take me out of here in the very near future. I would think anyway, because it is only two goals. So yeah, I will probably be headed to the bench anytime now. However, we are on the PK. So that may change things. I'm not really sure what's going on through Kochi's head. But yeah, I'm not being pulled yet. So... I guess maybe we're not going to do it. Who knows? That's okay, though. I'm fine. Give me some more shots so I can make some more saves. Please and thank you. Graves in the corner. Going to kick it back. And Carolina will be there to keep it in. Oh, wow. That was an interesting one. Kakanyemi battling for it. Oh, no. Not in front. Thank you, Graves. Okay. This is it, right? Yeah, there we go. Head to the bench. It's going to be an empty net. And it's going to be five on five. Oh, I actually made it for saves. Okay. Okay. Very decent. Yeah, overall, I'm there. That's elite. Unfortunately, I can't zoom in and watch the game play because for some reason, after a whistle, it just doesn't let you do it. But if it's right when you come off the bat, <laughs> great job, guys. Yes, Petrie, you legend. Okay, I take it back. He, he did mess up there, but holy crap, did he back check and make up for that mistake. All right. Oh, big shot block from Letty. 26 seconds to go. We're down by two still, so the chances of us tying this up extravagantly slim, but I suppose it's not impossible. Yanmark with the empty netter. That will put the nail in the coffin. Yes, sir. We are done. Not a great showing today from Timothy Jimothy. That sucks. I had... Oh, oh my goodness. I was going to say high hopes again, but no. Not falling into that trap. I was not ready for that. Wow. Wow. Okay, we just got buried. All right, well, it do be like that sometimes, but yeah, we were just flaming hot to start the year, and we got put in the freezer. <laughs> Holy crap, did we cool down right there. But I do need to sim a bunch of games, so hopefully that will turn out okay. Let's hear it, James. The Hurricanes went toe -to -toe yeah, on the road not a good performance from TJ again. Overrises their opponents with a big offensive effort. The Avalanche paired up with the Canucks. Okay, let's sim to the next game. Turned it up a notch in the shootout, and they come away with the two-point win. The Maple Leafs were in a dogfight on What's the road against the Ducks. What's going on? Look at how Toronto pixelated the stuff the in the background is. Like, if you look at the jersey hanging on the wall. Don't go a cologne brand. Here on the show. Sure, why not? Let's go with this neutral. Oh, brand-like ability. See you later. That's all right. We take those. Got some followers. Yeah. That's important, right? Okay, let's simulate some hockey games here. San Jose Sharks, they are 23rd in the league. First period. All right, second. Ooh, great second. And what about the third? Yeah, oh yeah, thing of beauty. All right, a solid 6-1 victory and TJ third star. Nice, so simulation me is way better than me me. Again, this happens a lot in pretty much all my Bia pros. And then there's times where I am way better than the simulation goalie, so it's weird like that. But anyway, Washington, boom, that is, wow. All right, four goals in the first period. What about the second period? Ah, there we go. 
We kept up the pace of two goals. Okay, 19 to 16 shots. What a joke. Boom. Wow. 24 shots, four goals. Brutal. We got the dub though. So that's the most important thing, but holy. Simulation game number three. How many do I do? Is it six? I think it's six. So first period. Nice. Big goal from McDusty. Second. Ooh, they tied it up. Keller with a couple there in a row. And we got one from Hyman. So that is a 2-2 game. Third period. Oh, you're joking. Oh, it's freaking Bedard too. Yeah, right. We are in a lot of games in a row here. Pavel is getting sat. First period. Oh, he came in. Pavel is in. I spoke too soon. Why do I say words? Oh, dude, that was just a pathetic performance. Three stars. There you go. Okay, continue. What is TJ doing, mate? 907 save percentage. What a fall from grace. Holy crap. Yeah, Pavel's starting this game. He should. And we lose it. Nice. We just suck, apparently. Sim this game against Nashville. I think I have to simulate two more. So, yeah, this one and one more. First period. Boom. 1-1. One, one. All right, Achari and Hedin. Second period, 3-3. Three, three. At least they have 25 shots, which is closer to 30 than what uh, your Edmonton Oilers have. Third period? Ooh, yeah, that's massive. And they ended up getting 39 shots. Okay, nice bounce back, TJ. We needed that. Not not one of the stars. That's okay. That's fine. I didn't want to be one of the stars anyway. We are now 8-5-1. and one. This episode has just done a number on a number of stats. The Seattle Kraken. Our final sim game for today. Boom. We take that. Second period. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. They have 24 shots. We only have 14. Third period. Yeah. Let's go. And they ended up with 30 shots too. Fire me vertical. Here's the three stars of the game. Nice. All right. Let's have a look at some of the player stats, shall we? Sim to the next game. Are we going to be in against the Golden Knights? We sure are. Let's go to the player stats and find out how everyone's doing. And I guess we'll check out the team stats as well. So, the Golden Knights are currently first in the division with 20 points. They have 15 games, and so do we. Uh, the Ducks have one game on us, and they're only one point behind, so gotta be on the lookout for them as well. And we share the exact same goals against per game. Goals four per game, not so much. The Knights are killing it. 4.07 goals four per game. That is... Pretty good, no? Yeah, that's that seems pretty crazy. Detroit first in the league right now with 22 points, but they do have 16 games played. Chicago, only 13, and they are up there. So that is worrisome. Okay, yeah, let's check out some individual player stats. McDavid has 22 points in 15 games. He turned up the Jets. Let's go. Dreisaitl, 14 in 15. Pool Party, 13. Bouchard, 12. Hyman, 11. Yeah, the boys are in okay. Fiala's got 10. Hopefully, he picks it up soon. I mean, you're playing with McDavid. I could get 10 points in 15 games with McDavid. <laughs> Goalies, TJ, a 909, 265. Pavel, an eight. <laughs> wow, the goalies are just not doing good, man. 866 with a four. GAA. Yikes. We have to figure it out here. 90 overall goalie. Should be doing better than this. Just for funsies, let's see who's... No, not the Western Conference. The entire league. So Kane has 25 points in 15 games. Kucherov with 23. And McDavid is up there. He's got, yeah, 22. 11 and 11 right now. So he is on pretty good pace right now. He's a 22 uh, shooting percentage, which is good. Lining with a 25. Dang. Guy's scoring goals on 25% of his shots. Pretty wild. A quarter of the time he shoots, he scores. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. That wasn't the best episode, but we're still sixth in the league, and we have a 9-5-1 record. We're still sitting above a 900 save percentage, so chalk that up as a W, I suppose. And yeah, you know what? It's, it's still going to be a good year. I still have a lot of high expectations. It's a good save. Um, for this team this year, so I think we'll do good, but only time will tell. I'll see you guys soon.